1965 marked the last year of fuel-injected cars until 1982. Also in 1965, there is some unique features to the car that were brought back. And I do want to point them out. That way you can impress your friends by telling them you know it's a 65. The hood depressions from a 63 and 64 were taken away. Our side, instead of the louver, became the gills, as I like to call them. And unique to 1965, if you look at the front grille of a 65, the interior is black, the outer is chrome, and that was the only year they did that, where the black in the interior and the chrome on the outside. This 1965 is a correct red car and a correct white interior, although the interior has been upgraded to leather, as we'll see in a moment. The paint on the car I would call very good. Chrome is in good shape, free of any uh, patina or issues. Nice body lines to the car and nice consistency to the paint. Bolt-on knockoff style wheels. And Goodyear Gold Line bias ply tires. That beautiful side exhaust, we'll notice that the chrome in the back is in good shape as well. Lights are nice and clear. Notice I got a little issue with the chrome right here, nothing big. And that beautiful white interior, of course, leather with the red carpeting and red dash. Gauge is all in good working order. And as of this taping, including the clock. If you ever wonder why that said, the clocks are notorious for not working unless you switched them out to a quartz. Notice that our correct loop style carpeting is in excellent shape as well. Folks, if you're looking for that beautiful driver big block with a lot of upgraded options to it and a fresh body off, this might be the one. 770-605-2056. Or you can email john at buyavet.net. We'll look forward to seeing you all out on the road.